just now we wrote group by and order by commands so the command resulted in a huge output we forcefully closed that terminal we even uh, closed high we stopped that process because the output was too huge so what we have we can do is we can open a non hive terminal that is a new terminal simply you can go here you can open a new terminal so in that new terminal then you can write hive e basically this will uh, invoke hive the, this will send this particular command this particular query to hive so what does this exact overall command mean let's try to understand this so you have hive which basically uh, keyword to send this particular query into hive so this is the hive query as it is so this will execute in hive so this query will be sent to hive this is what this first uh, two commands are doing hive uh, then hyphen e and then the output will be sent to home hd user output hive output tag one dot txt the new txt file will be created if you go here inside home output there is nothing like tag one or something like that right when you run this or when you run this code the output will be automatically created then it will be easy for us to look at the output rather than uh, seeing it in the terminal so a better way of writing a hive query with really if you are anticipating a really large output then it's better to send it to a different text file be careful you need to write this in a non hive terminal so you need to write it in a new terminal you can't write it in hive terminal directly so it's a new non hive terminal hive it's not hive prompt so simply i write this it will take the same amount of time but the output will be pushed into the text file that we just mentioned so i will start map and radius will be started map 0% radius 0% stage 1 map 1% radius 0% 4 0 5 so map 89% completed radius not yet started So the output is created and the output is sent to this particular file the file name that we gave in that folder so hive output hive output tag one dot txt is created already so we can go and see that output directly either in that text file itself since the output is too huge maybe even looking at that in the text file is not a good idea we can even see that in terminal using cat command again this will again open a huge file it will run forever we can stop that process exit right i just stopped it you can use Control c to stop this process so that is how you can write a hive command in a non-hive terminal send the output to a particular file so this is how we write group by and order by queries now in next queries we will see how to write word count in hive directly can we write uh, an sql command for word count can we write uh, and we will see some more uh, hadoop command hive commands like joins left out a join right out a join etc